Assalamu alaikum. This is Akhtaru Jaman Bappi. Hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. My dear students, I am also fine. Today, I am going to take your busiest class from your textbook Bangladesh and Global Studies. Students, before going to the new topic, I will ask you some questions from your previous lesson. Let's see. First question, who started cultivation first? Can you tell me? Yes, absolutely right. Answer will be, women started cultivation first. Now, question number two, what has advanced the development of society and cultivation? Who can tell me? Yes, your answer is correct. Answer will be, agriculture has advanced the development of society and cultivation. Now, question number three. Who was the pioneer of industrial revolution? Yes, your answer is correct. Look. England was the pioneer of industrial revolution, right? Now, last question here. Question number four. When did Columbus reach in America? Can you remember it? Yes, your answer is correct. Answer will be Columbus reached in America in the 1492 AD. Thank you everybody. But now, time for new lesson. But before going to new lesson, I'll show you two pictures. Then you have to guess what will be your today's topic. Look on the board. Here is a picture of a garment factory, right? So you have to think. What will be your today's topic? I'm showing you Another picture here. Yes, the picture is about money, economy, right? So now, can you guess what will be our today's topic? Yes, absolutely right. Our today's topic is economy of Bangladesh, right? Economy of Bangladesh. Chapter number 7. And... I will discuss today lesson 1 and 2 about economic way of life. Okay, my dear students, here you can see a learning outcomes. After studying this chapter, we will be able to narrate the economic life of the people of Bangladesh and narrate the economic work of village and town. And last point, you can see here, uh, compare between rural and urban economy. Okay. Now, here students, you can see your book. This is your main book. Here you can see lesson uh, one and two. Today, I will discuss about lesson one and to economic way of life. I will discuss the main point from here. Here also you can see your book, uh, Rural Economy of Bangladesh. And you can see another page here, a fisherman is catching fish and a woman is weaving clothes, right? Now, here you can see importance of rural economy importance of rural economy this is another page of your book and here you can see urban economy of bangladesh <coughs> look importance of urban economy now students here introduction part in bangladesh as most of the people live in village and agriculture is the main source of their livelihood. By selling different types of agricultural products, 
they run their family expenditures. Even the main source of raw materials of industries is agricultural sector. So from the ancient period, the economy of Bangladesh has been mainly agro-based. So you have to remember our economy is mainly on agro-based. Most of the people of this country live in a village. In the country, there are some state-owned industries, railway and road communication, etc. So this is the introduction part. You have to read it. And first, uh, you can see here, economic way of life. What does it mean? Yes, any work or transaction on service that has economic value is called economic work on activities. And second point you can see here, for example, uh, producing in factory, working in one's own field. So this is the example of economic way of life and economic works, okay? Now here you can see another slide, what is economic way of life, what? Here I have given four points. First one you can see, the economic work done by men, any society on a group or people as livelihood is called the economic way of life. Another point, most of the people of rural Bangladesh are farmers, right? So farmer produce crops and ensure food supply for the people at the country okay in the same way the economic way of life of urban people industry or trade based so <clears throat> you can see here rural economy of bangladesh okay bangladesh is agro based country most of the people do agriculture work okay Agriculture is the main source of their livelihood. At present, modern tools, hybrid sheets, fertilizer, and insecticides are being used in agriculture. As a result, the production of crops has increased. In our country, trade, commerce, and employment mostly depend on our rural economy. Okay, so other occupation here, Fisherman, cotter, blacksmith, and others. The so rural economy of Bangladesh depends on agriculture. Okay. We get various types of raw materials from agriculture side. Now, students, you can see a pictures fisherman catching fish, a farmer cutting plant, paddy, and a man making pots, right? So uh, these three pictures about rural economy, okay. Okay, students, you can see here importance of rural economy. What is the importance of rural economy? Here, the greater portion of our demand for food comes from agriculture and the village. Village people are the main producer. This is 100% true. The main source of raw material of the country is agricultural section. Isn't it? So we get our uh, raw materials from agriculture sector. Okay. Now urban economy of Bangladesh. Urban means city area, right? Town area. So the first point you can see, 30% population live in cities, mostly in Dhaka. Okay. And port city of Chattogram, industrial city Narangons and Khulna. And second point you can see here, three class people can be seen in cities. What are they? High, middle and low qualities people, okay. And last point here you can see, high class people live in aristocratic area. Now here you can see another slide urban economy of Bangladesh. Middle and lower class people live in their own house or rented house based on their abilities. And another point you can see, vast number of people live in slums as well. And 
industry and last point you can see industrialized servicemen businessmen professionals and others here students can you tell me what is this yes this is a picture of slums do you ever seen in your life this type of slum yes i have seen this is another picture is a luxurious building right so aristocratic people rich people live here and importance of urban economy the first point you can see what is this increasing of industries and booming urbanization and people are becoming more dependent on urban areas for education employment healthcare and other facilities dear students let's enjoy a video about the development activities of bangladesh Our beloved Bangladesh is achieved with the sacrifice of 3 million lives. This country of 16 crore people is endowed with diverse natural resources. The population itself is the biggest asset for the country. The incredible combination of nature and population has made Bangladesh a wonder of the world. Bangladesh is one of the top fast growing countries of the world. A resurrection in the economy has happened. The government has taken many initiatives to establish an investment-friendly environment in the country. Industrialization is an integral part of economic development. The ruling government has been adopting many plans and initiatives to establish an investment-friendly environment with utmost importance on industrialization. Bangladesh Economic Zones Authority (BESA) is the name of the groundbreaking initiative of this rapid industrial movement. For building Shonar Bangla, as envisaged by the Father of the Nation, there is no alternative but industrialization, and the Bangladesh Economic Zone Law has been enacted in 2010 with a view to fostering industrial expansion. Because of this, 10 million employments are expected to be created, and additional 40 billion US dollars is expected to be earned. through exports by the year 2030 beza aims at creating 100 economic zones in 75000 acres land in the country the prime objective of beza is to establish an investment friendly country through providing world class service for investment and removing obstacles in the investment process by ensuring one stop service Mirashara Economic Zone is a government economic zone. This economic zone is established in spreading an area of 15,000 acres. The infrastructural development works are going on in 550 acres land within this economic zone. Mirashara Economic Zone is a very attractive destination for industrialization. It is situated at a distance of only 10 kilometers from the Dhaka Chittagong Highway. The work of the Annex Road is being carried out in full swing in order to establish the connection with the Dhaka Chittagong Highway. This economic zone is having a distance of just 79 kilometers from the Shah Amanat International Airport of Chittagong. In this economic zone, sufficient power supply is available. All industrialization requirements such as telecommunication, water supply, infrastructure etc are available in this economic zone. The infrastructural development work of this economic zone is going on fast. This large and potential economic zone of the country is suitable for garments and garments accessories, integrated textile, motorbike, automobile accessory, ship building, steel, automobile parts manufacturing. high tech industries etc sri hatha economic zone is the first such public private partnership ppp economic zone of bangladesh with an area of 352 acres this economic zone is situated in sherpur molubhi bazar 
In consideration of transportation facilities, Sri Hotto Economic Zone is highly attractive. Being situated near the Dhaka Silet Highway, this economic zone is just 40 kilometers away from Silet City. This economic zone is also very prospective because of its rail transport connectivity. This economic zone is situated beside the river Kushiara and is only 35 kilometers away from Osmani International Airport. Now, power supply from Bangladesh Rural Development Board is available at this economic zone. Telecommunication service and gas supply are also available here. This economic zone is highly conducive for textiles such as spinning, weaving and dyeing, ceramic paintings, glass manufacturing and food processing. Sri Hotto Economic Zone will work as an example of economic advancement of Bangladesh. Along with expanding exports, this economic zone is expected to play a significant role for the local markets as well. Another such public-private partnership economic zone is being built near Mongla, country's second largest seaport. Built in a 205-acre land, the partners of this initiative with the government are Power Pack Economic Zone Private Limited. This economic zone is very attractive in consideration of transport facilities. BESA is facilitating and supporting the establishment of private economic zones. The activities for building seven such private economic zones are currently in progress. These economic zones are situated in close proximity with Dhaka. Therefore, they can be the best destination for your investment. Specialized Economic Zone is an innovative and significant initiative of BESA. This initiative has been taken to support and expand specialized industries. Sabrang Tourism Park is a glaring example of this kind of economic zone. Cox's Bazaar is the main tourist city in Bangladesh. This tourism park is situated in a 1,027-acre land surrounded by impeccable natural beauties of mountains, Bay of Bengal on one side and Naf River on the other, which shares border between Bangladesh and Myanmar. Jali Deep, a small beautiful island on the Naf River, is also a major attraction. The tourist city is being developed here, enabling all the amenities for tourism. The proposed tourism park is just 5 kilometers away from Teknaf, near the Cox's Bazaar Airport. Therefore, this specialized tourism park will have all sorts of communication facilities. All modern facilities, including telecommunication, power supply and water supply have been made available in this specialized tourism park. This place is situated near the world's longest sea beach of the Bay of Bengal and will connect with the ongoing Cox's Bazaar Marine Drive. The only coral island of Bangladesh, St. Martin, is about a one-hour journey by boat from here. Under the supervision of Beza, modern hotels, ecotourism, various entertaining tourist channels, commercial tourism, sports tourism, etc. will be introduced here. Thus, in the next 15 years, 100 economic zones will be built under the initiative of Beza. Beza will work as the cornerstone in establishing Bangladesh as a prosperous and developed country. The investments in these economic zones of Beza will be highly profitable for both local and foreign investors. Beza is not only supporting hassle-free and comfortable industrial initiatives, but also providing various economic benefits. The developers of economic zones will enjoy tax exemption for 12 years, VAT exemption from local purchases, exemption from customs duty, exemption from stamp duty fee on registration of land, and exemption from dividend tax. Moreover, the United Investors will also enjoy such benefits for their entrepreneurs like 10 years tax exemption, duty-free importing of raw materials, opportunity of large foreign investments, and exemption from stamp duty fee on registration of land. Coming world. Get yourself attached with this because today is the right time to invest in Bangladesh. My dear students, now time for related question answer. The first question 
What do you mean by rural economy? Answer is the activities which are conducted in the environment of rural area is called rural economy. Now, question number two. What is the contribution of agriculture in our national economy? Can you remember it? Yes. Answer is in our national economy, the contribution of agriculture is more than 20%. Okay? Now, question number three. What do you understand by economic way of life? Can you guess what will be the answer? Yes. Answer will be the economic work done by any society on a group of people as livelihood is called the economy way of life. Thank you. Now, question number four. Which helps in the development of the rural economy? Yes. Answer here. Agriculture helps in the development of the rural economy. Right? Now, last question here. Why is Bangladesh called an agro-based country? Yes. Answer is here. Bangladesh is called an agro-based country because most of the people depend on agriculture. Okay. Okay, dear students, here you can see a creative question from chapter 7, lesson 1 and 2. Students, to give the answer of creative questions, first you have to read the stream. Then you have to find out the question from the stream and also you have to take help from your book. First you have to read the stream. Mr. Shaheb Mia, a landless poor farmer, lives in a village. He grows crops in the lands of others on share. He has to maintain a large family of seven members. So, for the sake of livelihood, he has to catch fish in the canals and rivers during his leisure for an extra income. His wife works in a garments industry as a laborer. They are trying their level best to run the wheel of their family. So students, in this team, we can see that Mr. Shaheb Mia and his wife both are working for the development of our society to develop our country and to, they are helping for our economy, right? So from here, I have given four questions and answer also. So let's see. Yes, question A. What is rural economy? Here you can see the answer. The activities of the rural people for their livelihood as well as to improve the standard of living, their living is termed as rural economy. So students, you have to memorize this part for the question answer A. Now, here you can see question B. Explain the importance of rural economy of Bangladesh. Now here question B, explain the importance of rural economy of Bangladesh. Here is the answer, you can see. I have given here two words because this question answer has two marks, that's why you have to make two better. The greater portion of our demand for food comes from agriculture and the village people are the main producer. And the, ma the main source of raw materials of the country is agricultural section. So what does raw materials mean? Uh, we use raw materials to product things in factory, right? So all raw materials uh, comes from village area. Uh, farmers uh, grow various types of 
crafts and raw materials in village area okay so the economy of bangladesh mainly depend on rural economy now students you can see here question number c as per the steam how do mr shahib mia and his wife play rules in rural economy yes the first para you can see here as per steam shahib mia is a landless farmer he works in field and grows crops he also catches fish in the river and canals okay and second para you can see here in the other hand his wife works in a garments factory and also works at home for their children so she also contributes in rural economy okay and last para we can see here thus the couple is engaged in economic activities which is no doubt a part of rural economy right and last line we can see here they are playing great role in the rural economy so here i have given three para you have to write like this okay now students last question here from the ancient time agriculture has been playing a key role in the economy of bangladesh so what does ancient mean so you know the answer ancient mean primitive age or old age huh. so how they help the society uh, to develop our country to develop their condition so students you have to read your book and you have to try own self to find out the question answer i didn't give the answer here uh, question uh, number d you have to find out and then you have to write it in your sw copy and your sw number will be nine so you have to write it and then you have to send it to your subject teachers uh, okay hopefully you can write it easily my dear students now time for feedback session i'll ask you some questions from your today's topic first question here what do you mean by rural economy yes your answer is correct the activities which are conducted in the environment of rural area is called rural economy right you are thank you now question number two what is the contribution of agriculture in our national economy yes more than 20 percent the contribution of agriculture in our national economy is more than 20 percent now question number three why is bangladesh called an agro-based country yes bangladesh called an agro-based country because our economy depend on agriculture right now question number four what is the percentage of people live in city area can you tell me yes 30 percent 30 percent people live in city city area in bangladesh right now last question let's see who can tell me the answer yes the economy of bangladesh is mainly depend on what yes agriculture right okay my dear students now time for homework your chapter will be seven lesson one and two you have to learn and write creative question answer d that i already have discussed in this class my dear students hopefully you have enjoyed my class today and thanks for watching my class. Take care. Allah Hafiz.